What? You done? No, I'm not done. I'm done whenever, whenever, whenever the fuck I want to be done. That's when I'm done. Before Young M.A. would be nominated for both MTV and BET awards, land on Forbes 30 under 30 list, and pick up endorsement deals, including working with Beats by Dre. And whoever listening, I need y'all to understand this is motivate. This is motivation for y'all. This don't come easy. You can't depend on nobody. Before Young M.A. announced that she'd been performing at the A3C Festival in October of 2018 with big names including the Wu-Tang Clan, Lil Wayne, Talib Kuali, and Jewel Santana. Going into 2018, um, I've been, I've just been like in the studio, like now that I got a studio in my crib that I built. No, not to brag. Swag. Before Young M.A. would reach a following of 3.6 million on Instagram, 159,000 on SoundCloud, and as of today, well, she'd clock in over 275 million views on her 2016 hit, Ooh. Talk to a couple of y'all, that's what I'm gonna do. So later tonight, I'm gonna go live again. What time is it? Like eight? I'll probably go live like 10 o'clock. Now you guys might notice that we've been doing a number of updates here on this channel, and there's good reason for all that. Now some of these videos, I made them back in 2015 before I had a nickel to my name, and others like the Young M.A. video, well they were pieced together before she even had a Wikipedia page. Now of course, all sorts of new information comes to the surface about our favorite artists, and there's all these little tidbits about their come up story that I want to include because we want to bring you the best bios each and every day. Now, Young M.A. is one of the most popular videos we've ever made on this channel, so I felt it was my duty to update this and extend it into one motherfucking epic bio. One fit for a queen, or even a king. I feel like Young M.A. would be cool with me saying that either way. Now, this is also an amazing story. It's one marked with self-discovery. She had to come out to her friends, her family, and, well, the world. All the while, she was overcoming unbelievable tragedy she'd lost her brother. Now, of course, Young M.A., she makes sure to pay tribute to her big bro every chance she gets. She even rapped about him in her breakout hit, Ooh. My brother told me, fuck him, get that money, sis. Yeah, just keep on grinding on your hungry shit. Well, I'd say her big bro is awfully proud of her because this lady has taken over the rap game. I've also heard through the grapevine that she knows who I am. She also offered me a little bit of advice on dealing with my own haters. She told my friend to tell me that it's all love, baby. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden documenting the life and career of Young M.A. prior to fame. Here for you of course on Before They're Famous. Now I gotta give a special shout out to Candy Pants for sponsoring this video. They also work with Young M.A. and those are the people who talk to her on my behalf. This world's getting a little small, it's crazy. Now uh, this video, it's packed with tons of updates, so let's just jump into it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! I'm a 90s baby. 92 to be exact. Young M.A. was born Katoro Marrero on April 3rd, 1992 in Brooklyn, New York. Her father is Puerto Rican while her mother, Latasha, well, she is Jamaican. When she was just a year old, her daddy was sent to prison and wasn't released until she was 11. Now, due to his incarceration, she was raised by her single mother and her uncles, and she grew up with her older brother, Kenneth. Now, her family members, they were passionate about music, even performing freestyles in their neighborhood. Young M.A., she also has a little sister who's 13 years younger than her, and a grandmother who she has a close relationship with. Her grandma, G. Mac, is the only person allowed to call young M.A. Nunu, and this was a nickname she gave to her when she was born because, well, she was the new baby. You know, it's kind of sweet. This is the love of my life. Who that? You. Who them? Who them? This is, is you. That's crazy. <laughs> when Young M.A. was just seven years old, the family made the move to Virginia, which is also around the time that M.A. started getting curious about the other girls her age. Even though, you know, as a kid, you know, I played like little house games, you know, with girls and, you know, kissing and da, 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 but my mom's never knew anything about it. Young M.A. made up her mind to make it big when she was only nine years old after getting a karaoke machine for Christmas and building her own studio in her bedroom. Now, growing up, she performed at a few open mics, random family events, and at family reunions. While living in Virginia, she became a leader of a rap group called Money Makers, whose members consisted of her and three guy friends that lived in her neighborhood. She would still spend every summer in New York, and about a decade had passed with her and Virginia, a lot had changed. She'd even had a few boyfriends along the way. Then her family, they decided to move back to Brooklyn, and it was around this time, she was about 17 or 18, that she finally came out to her mother telling her she was gay. I finally told my mom. My mom asked me plenty of times growing up that I like women. I always told her no. 
It turns out her mother, her cousins, and just about everyone else, well, they had already known for some time as she was generally hanging around with boys and doing stereotypical masculine things. She stated, I've always had gestures though, like I would always act like a boy, flirting with a girl on the low, but I would never officially come out and say I'm gay. Something else that notified her family was that she was sporty from a young age, playing football, basketball, baseball, and kickball. It was also around this age that various managers told her that she needed to be more feminine if she wanted to make it big. She recalls, they were telling me like, you know, I know you're the tomboy style, but eventually you're gonna have to wear dresses and I had to wear some makeup sometimes, heels and all that. Young Amei would eventually gain the confidence to accept who she was and not let others dictate how she would dress or act. It became a point where it was just like, I don't give a fuck what people think. And since then, everything has come into place for me because now I'm just a little more comfortable. Now we know that this was a time of celebration for Young Ma. She started pulling in all sorts of ladies, but it was also a time in her life marked by her greatest tragedy. On September 26, 2009, when Young Ma was only 17, her 20-year-old brother Kenneth was killed in Pennsylvania by a member of his own gang. Now the day he died, she wrote a poem that expressed her sadness, which ran in the obituary pamphlet at his service. I lost my brother at 17, my If that nigga was here today, he'll be so fucking proud of me. I did that shit for him, boy. Following this tragic event and while completing her senior year of high school, well, she went through many months of depression. She went to three therapy sessions at her school, but discontinued them as she didn't want to open up and talk about it, and she didn't think the therapist they assigned her was any good. She started acting out, getting into altercations with people, and she got into bad arguments with her mother. They would get into screaming matches where young Ame would leave the house to stay at her ex-girlfriend's house, and there she would drink a bottle of absolute vodka and cry her eyes out. She also admits to getting arrested around this time. Now she didn't interact much with her classmates and she kept to herself. She even skipped out on prom. And uh, well, on this period of her life, she stated, I was depressed, but I made as much of it as possible because I didn't want to drop out. 2009 was the worst year of my life. Once my brother passed, I got in the booth and I made a song about his passing. After high school, she continued her pursuit of music, even meeting a few producers and going to the studio. She put together two mixtapes, Young M.A., the mixtape, and Sleepwalkin', and she put these together with her own money. And I was selling them shits out my car, selling my shits online, sending it to emails. I was doing that shit by myself. Nobody was doing it with me. Of course, she wasn't rolling in riches like she is today, and to cover her bills while Young M.A., she had to pick up some regular gigs. She worked at TJ Maxx for some time before before working at the New York City restaurant chain Shake Shack. And after working these jobs, well, she reflected. And then um, that point in my life changed. It kind of made me think like, nah, I need to do it. Mm -hmm. I, th I think this is like my calling, like I need to do it. But before we get into her rise to success, it looks like it's getting a little smoky in here. And I need to tell you about our friends over at Candy Pens. <laughs> Now, Candy Pens was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Pens, well, they're quickly becoming the go-to choice for vaping in the hip-hop and rap community. We're talking co-signs from DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Amber Rose, and you guessed it, Young M.A. How fitting. Now, ASAP Rocky, he has his own line called the Flacco Jody Collection. They've also hooked us up with the ability to get you 25% off your entire order during checkout. There is a link down below. Use the promo code BTWF25. Also, candy pens, they're for those 18 years and older. All right, let's get back to Young M.A. Now, another major musical influence in Young M.A.'s life is 50 Cent. She recalls hearing his song, Many Men, for the first time while she was driving. And while she had already been making some music on the low, she still credits this as a life-altering moment and one that really inspired her to pursue it full-time. She stated, I remember being in the car to myself in my mind saying, this has got to be the dopest shit I've ever heard in my life. Well, little did young Cat know that in the summer of 2016, well, 50 Cent himself would post a photo of the two on Instagram and caption it this. Young M.A. the hottest sh** out right now. Her swag reminds me of my mother. So official, I don't like a lot of sh**, but this is tough. I'm glad she from New York. Many men and women wish for captions like that. That was stupid, sorry. Now before Young M.A. would get recognized by our hero, she made a slight change to her moniker, going from Young Ma to Young M.A. You know, which stands for me always. She also needed to start gaining a following, so she started a YouTube channel way back in 2012 titled Cat Casanova. And this channel, it was short lived, where she only posted three videos. But uh, she did open up about her sexuality. 
really candidly. You ain't gay until you eat pussy. Her biggest break to date came in 2014 after she released her freestyle titled Brooklyn to Nicki Minaj's Chirac. And this would go on to become a viral hit. At the time of this recording, the video has over 13 million views. But with the release of this popular remix came some backlash, particularly from a man named Dr. Boyce Watkins. And he accused Young M.A. of encouraging violent, negative, genocidal energy into the community that may get her killed and is killing her own people. You don't hear Asian people bragging about murdering other Asian people. Really, this kind of um, you know self-promoted genocide is really something that's unique to black people. Despite what this guy had to say, Young M.A. took it as all love, baby. In 2015, that's when she dropped the song Body Bag and released her debut album Sleepwalkin'. Her album featured the songs Get This Money, Karma Cries, and Henny and Hoes. But she also released the song that would give her fans an intimate look to the obstacles of her past. And the song for that was titled Through the Day. And she stated, I know that I wanted to give them something a little more personal. You know what I mean? Something different instead of the same old, you know, turning up at the party, drinking Henny. Yeah, that one right there, that's just basically, you know, talk about um, growing up, you know what I mean? Um, just street violence and situation with my brother. Then in May of 2016, she would release, ooh, that was my best one. And this is a song that she instantly knew would become a hit. She bravely released the song as a single without promotion, but it was worth trusting her instincts because, ooh, it ended up peaking at number 19 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. Now after this, she started to get noticed by well-known rappers. We're talking Nicki Minaj, French Montana, Jadakiss, and ASAP Ferg amongst others, who all made remixes to her catchy tune. She also went on to perform the song at the 2016 BET Hip Hop Awards, and even received a public invitation from Beyonce to perform the song during her The Formation World Tour. This was in New Jersey on October 7th of that year. It was the first time Young M.A. performed somewhere that wasn't a club, though she never got to meet the queen herself. She did get a chance to meet Jay-Z, and this is how she described that meeting. It was, it was so humble. Meeting Jay Z, you know what I mean? It was like, it was real cool. Like it was if it was like a family member that you ain't see in a long time or something like an uncle. Now this was a very eventful year in terms of opportunities that were coming her way. She was even offered a small role on the hit TV show Empire, but she was quick to turn that one down. When asked for her reasoning behind turning down the gig, well, she stated, "Because it wasn't it was in my lane. It was another lane. You know what I mean? Like I was I was going the music route. You know what I mean? I wanted to be that that rapper. You know what I mean? And and, and Empire was acting. 2016 not only brought forth success as an entertainer, but also when it came to love. In October of that year, after coming across model and DJ Tori Bricks." Well, on social media, she stated this. I came across a video of her singing my ooh, ooh song. I saw the video and I thought she was pretty, so I posted it. She didn't come in my DMs. I didn't go in her DMs. It happened the old fashioned way. They met in person when Young M.A. did a commercial for Apple Beats. And from there, well, the two started a relationship while trying their best to keep it on the DL. Sadly, the relationship it ended a couple of years later when Tori Bricks, well, she began pursuing rapper Rich the Kid. I don't think that worked out. Anyway, in 2017, Young M.A. released an EP titled Her Story. On March 31st, 2017, she played her first show on the Is A Tour with 21 Savage, starting in Houston. Now in 2018, with the upcoming release of her new album, there's no denying that Young M.A. is at the top of her game. The album will feature songs, Car Confessions, Practice, and Petty Wop, all produced by Antoine Amadeus Thompson who's worked with the likes of Jennifer Lopez and Justin Bieber. So far, the hit single of the album is Petty Wop, with over 14 million views at the time of this recording. The music video for the song was actually shot at Young and May's house, so it looks like we're gonna have to get started on making her the Rich Life video. That was at my crib. Um, it was some last minute thing we had we had did uh we invited a few girls like personally i ain't want to make it no public thing yeah so we kind of made it personal as for the rest of the story well i guess we'll have to wait and see or maybe i'll update this like another two years from now we'll make like a 45 minute version be some shane dawson shit. perhaps who knows but for now well you know the story because this is before they're famous my name is michael crud and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel two more suggested ones are for you down below be sure to check out the link for candy pens they've been hooking me up also young ma mm, she's like my sister from another mister all right i'll see you guys in another video Go!